South Korea is set to get another low-cost carrier in the next few months with the launch of Aero K. A fun-loving price-sensitive airline with a twist, Aero K is shaking up the South Korean airline industry in more ways than one. It could be said that South Korea has somewhat of an affinity with low-cost airlines. With seven established low-cost carriers already in service and another on the way, it may seem strange that Aero K is delving into this seemingly overpopulated space. Aero K is the rebrand of K Air Aviation, a low-cost airline that was founded in 2017. While, like many other airlines, it's committed to wallet-friendly fares, it also plans to leave an incredible mark on the South Korean airline industry. It's branded itself as a safety-conscious airline that gives customers freedom, a warm service, and extraordinary professional life for employees. A peek at its website marketing certainly makes working for AeroK look like a treat. The proof is in the pudding. And yet, we haven't seen Aero K in action. It was meant to launch back in 2018, but with insufficient funding amounting to some $13 million, it was denied government approval. Fast forward two years and all that Aero K is waiting on is its air operator certificate. Again, due to recent events, this has been delayed. Aero K officials now hope that the airline will receive its air operator certificate this month and, if so, it will be able to launch operations from August 2020. Although it undoubtedly would have liked to be operational before now, the delay has meant that Aero K will start in a stronger position. It had initially planned to launch in March 2020 and would have done so with one A3-2200. The airline would then have expected delivery of one more A320-200 in July and another in August. Gearing up for its launch, AeroK will now start with three aircraft. After that, finance-dependent AeroK plans to grow. It placed a firm order for eight A320s back in March 2017. The airline will be based in Chengju International Airport and its inaugural route will be to Jeju International Airport. In the future, AeroK plans to focus its operations in Northeast Asia and hopes to operate in the following destinations China, Japan, Taiwan and Vietnam. By the end of this year, South Korea will have 9 low-cost carriers in operation. It seems like a lot. However, low-cost international travel is a growing market in the country. In fact, in 2018 alone, it grew by 24%. So, how will AeroK ensure that it stands out? Well, it's already branded itself as a more carefree airline with rigorous safety concerns and customer service. Yet, there's something else about this airline which is quite unusual. It's uniform. AeroK is championing counter stereotypes. It's moved away from the beauty pageant esque commodification of staff and opted for a genderless uniform that puts safety above appearance. In a recent post on Facebook, the airline shared The practical uniform AeroK has created is based on respect so staff can perform jobs better rather than on age and gender. In the end, all this concern is to perform the most important mission of passenger safety. Altogether, there could be exciting times ahead for South Korea's new outfit. How do you think AeroK will fare in the competitive, low-cost carrier market? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this video and we hope to catch you next time. Until then, cheers!